Hi, thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. I'm so pleased to be here today to present this year's documentary film prize to Joshua Oppenheimer for The Look of Silence, his second film relating to the 1965-1966 mass killings of hundreds of thousands of people in Indonesia. The Look of Silence tells the story of willful societal blindness and one man's quiet, consistent determination to make the invisible more visible by piercing the national silence that has surrounded the killings for decades. It is the story of the film's protagonist, Adi Runkin, taking on the silence of millions. If you have not seen The Look of Silence, please, please go home and watch it tonight. It will shake you to your core because it is not only a visually beautiful movie, but it is deeply compelling and humanizing. Because this film was made, Adi's story, his voice, and his effort for justice have reached audiences far and wide across Indonesia and even more internationally. The issue remains a very raw one in Indonesia now. In making these films, Joshua has helped to end the culture of silence in Indonesia. He's catalyzed a movement for justice. His first film, The Act of Killing, was essentially banned in Indonesia. By contrast, The Look of Silence has been distributed by the National Human Rights Commission and has been sent to universities and high schools around the country. It is known now, in large part because of these films, that Indonesians want the horrendous crimes of the past addressed. Not just those who are personally impacted, like Adi's family, but ordinary Indonesians who want a society based on truth and the rule of law. And the Indonesian government is starting to listen. Earlier this week, there was a public discussion with government endorsement about these killings for the first time ever. This is a hugely important step towards greater transparency into what happened during that time. Because of his determination to see meaningful accountability in, in Indonesia, Joshua has also been working to shed light on the role of the United States and what it did in the 1965 killings. It is here that I've had the great pleasure to work with him closely on visits to the White House, State Department, and with members of Congress in an effort to get classified files released that show just how involved the US really was in supporting the perpetrators. Getting these documents released is, of course, only one part of the larger truth-telling effort, but it is a critical element in revealing the full story. So without further ado, it is my great pleasure to present the 2016 Ridenauer Documentary Film Prize to Joshua Oppenheimer for The Look of Silence. Thank you. 